It's homecoming week. We would like to welcome a few of our new teachers at JDHS. And we say goodbye to a JDHS staff member. Also on the show, we take a look at the weather. And we take a look at what's happening in the coming weeks. TV News. I'm your host Krishna. And I'm your host Amira. A major change is happening in JDTV News. Instead of doing shows every week, JDTV News is going to be doing shows every other week. This week, JDHS celebrated Homecoming Week. Our school engaged in a variety of different games and activities each day of the week, along with activities outside of school. On Saturday, the school decorated the walls for Homecoming. We got those results, which we'll put the sophomores first, seniors second, juniors third, and freshmen last. On Monday, the school participated in Spirit Week and students dressed up in a way to try to create their favorite meme. We also got our first clue for MacTrack. On Tuesday, students dressed in their fashion disasters and at the end of the day, we got another clue for MacTrack. On Wednesday, students dressed as their favorite Alaskan activities. We also got the first clue that starts the final series and concludes this year's MacTrack. On Thursday, students showed up to school representing their red and black pride. Today, our school will participate in a school-wide assembly where students dressed as characters from their favorite folktales such as Little Red Riding Hood, Hansel and Gretel, Jack and the Beanstalk, and the Three Little Pigs will be putting on very entertaining skits during the assembly. Students were able to score homecoming points for their grade during the week for interacting in the games and activities put on during lunch as well as dressing up each day for Spirit Week. Each grade level's points will be announced at the school assembly, and the winning grade will be awarded with bragging rights. That's it for this week's Spirit Week and Homecoming activities. Thanks for listening. Did you hear about our new cooking and exploring business teacher? Yeah, his room is 116, right? Right you are. Now let's learn more on what he teaches. Uh, this is my first year at JDHS, so uh, I was at Floyd Dryden for 13 years, and I was just ready for a change. And I've been doing the cooking classes over there, so this job opened up, and I decided to take it. Uh, this is the first time I've taught it. I'm kind of learning along with the kids. They're in the exploring business class, so I'm uh, getting a lot of new knowledge myself this year. It came as part of the gig with the culinary classes. Yeah, yeah, I'm having a good time. I'm learning some new stuff. I'm really excited for the stock market project that we're starting, and I think it'll be cool. Uh, national and state competition that runs online where uh, the kids get to into teams of three to five people and they trade using real-time quotes and all kind all kinds of good stuff on a website and it just is tracked within the state and they get to compare themselves to kids in other districts and that, I think it'll be pretty fun. Today is Kiara's last day. She ran the Teen Health Center and Richie has the farewell. I really bond with teenagers. I really like them. I feel like I have a background in social work and um, I just felt like it was a really good fit. My daughter is graduating high school this year and moving to Hawaii. She got into uh, the University of Hawaii, Manoa. And, um, just like family things that are going on, it seems like it'd be like a really good transition for me to like also be with her there. And um, so I'm moving with her to Hawaii. And it just takes a while to like pack up a life, you know, like when you get to be my age, old lady, um, it takes a while. Like you gotta pack stuff up, sell a house, like do things. So I just wanna be like on board with the next transition in my life. Which sucks, because I love my job. Like, I love Teen Health. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of Juno. Um, I don't like the cold weather. Um, I don't like the lack of diversity or, like, um, the kind of, like, culture that I'm into. So, um, like, live music and stuff like that. Um, but I definitely want to miss my job, because I miss... I'm going to miss the teenagers, because it's not, like, a job. Like, I don't miss the paperwork or the, like the data entry stuff, but I'm gonna miss like connecting with teenagers and like kind of like um, creating those relationships. I think creating those relationships in this community, I'm just gonna miss everybody. 
Even though it's sad, we must say goodbye. Next, let's take a look at a bio. Krishna, it's your turn. No, no! Hi, I'm Krishna. I'm a freshman at JDHS. I play tennis, basketball, and I might do baseball. I was born here in Juneau, but my, my family is originally from India. My dad started off in India, moved to, the, to St. Thomas, then went to New York, went to Ketchikan, didn't like it, and finally settled down in Juneau. He married my mom somewhere in the process. Last year, my family and I visited India for two weeks. We weren't able to visit all my family in India, but we were able to visit multiple tourist sites. My entire family loves food. We usually eat Indian food all week. However, when we go on vacation, we try to eat different cuisines. We usually end up at chain restaurants like Olive Garden, but we try. So yeah, that's me. See you around. It, is, it, is it over? Yes, yes it is. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Let's take a look at sports. First up, we start with girls basketball. On Friday, January 17th, they played in a tournament that took place in Palmer and they took on Palmer and won 33 to 40. On Saturday, January 18th, the girls were in the same tournament and won 54 to 31 against Eagle River. On Saturday, January 18th, they also won 65 to 33 against Valdez. On Friday, January 24th, the girls won against Ketchikan 51 to 46. And finally for, for the girls, on Saturday, January 25th, they won against Ketchikan 66 to 40. Now, on, the, on to the boys. On Thursday, they began the Alaskan Airlines Tournament in Anchorage and lost to West Anchorage 61 to 68. On Friday, January 24th, the boys lost a close one to Barrow 64 to 69. On Saturday, January 25th, they lost against Colony 46 to 73. Now it's time for hockey. On Friday, January 17th, JDHS lost to Houston 1 to 2. On Saturday, January 18th, JDHS lost against Palmer 2-3. On Friday, JDHS lost to Kenai Central 3-7. And finally, on Saturday, January 25th, JDHS lost to Kenai Central 1-2. Wow, the girls are really rocking it. They've won 12 games and only lost one. Yeah, really, they are doing really amazing. Now let's take a look at the calendar for the next week and a half. Today at 4 p.m., the JV hockey teams play Saldana at Treadwell Arena. On Saturday, girls basketball are up against Mount Edgecombe at 4 p.m., and later the boys basketball against TM at 8 p.m. Next Monday, the Board of Education and Jess Union meet at Angry at 5 p.m. Next Saturday at 8 a.m., the Board of Education and the more large districts are gathering. That's all we have for the calendar. It's been a snowy week and hopefully there's more to come. JJ, how's the forecast looking? On the satellite, looks like snow coming from the northwest. Moving into Juno. It looks snowy on Eagle Crest, almost setting records this weekend. On Friday, we may be looking at a little bit more snow as it gets colder than it has been throughout the week at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Saturday, as it gets warmer, it also becomes a little cloudier, cloudier, possibly showers at 33 degrees Fahrenheit. On Sunday, it'll be mostly cloudy around 31 degrees Fahrenheit with a chance of snow during the night. Back to you at the desk. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Go visit our website, jdhsvideo.org. And follow us on Twitter at jdhsvideo. Tune in next time for some more newsy goodness. Go Bears! Thank <laughs> you.